recording. It's uh, exactly 11 o'clock, so we're right on time as far as that goes. And the camera angles look uh, reasonable. I could zoom in a little, I guess. Let's try that. So, good morning. Um, let's talk about news. Normally, I don't get to do much news on Sunday. Um, but uh, yesterday, I was telling you about how happy I was, or at least I think I was. That I, Yesterday, I was very happy because Quid is feeling much better. And as far as I know, that continues. But the reason that you don't see Quid here right now is that he is in the bedroom with DJ uh, until he poops. I'm waiting to see his poop. I want to make sure. I want to have some confirmation that he's still having good poops. And then I really do want to unleash him on the general population if he's having good poops because um, he wants to play. When I, when I left him up there just now, he wants to play, and there's nobody else in the room with DJ that wants to play um, because the other people in the room are Teaspoon, um, and uh, Bill. And Bill, it turns out, seems like he's got whatever Quid had and is having really bad diarrhea. And I was kind of, I, I can't say I was up with him all night because I did sleep, but uh, I was up frequently with him, uh, you know, to clean him up after every poop he had last night and clean up the litter box and, uh, you know, keep an eye on him, try to make sure he was eating and drinking. We gave him sub Q fluids, vitamin B12. I've written to the doctor again. Uh, and we're probably going to bring him in either tomorrow or, you know, shortly. So, uh, he doesn't seem like he's doing any worse than, you know, Quid was when Quid was at the worst of it. Um, but that is about what he looks like where he's, you know, he's got enough. So, oh, I think this is the Dr. P calling me right now, actually. Hang on a second here. I'm just going to mute this since I can.
Gosh, I hope I did that all right, and I didn't just deafen you by pressing on the microphone with my thumb. Uh, let me check on chat to make sure we're okay. Uh, so that was, in fact, um, Dr. Uh, P from uh, our vet practice, and uh, she was calling about Bill because, as I mentioned, I had sent an email about Bill earlier. And uh, I don't know, I just to mention how great our vets are, uh, Dr. P and Dr. K are our vets at Aristocats in Fairfield, uh, Connecticut, Aristocats with a K. And um, they are at a conference. They, they left uh, last Wednesday, I think, or Thursday, and they've been at a conference. They're still at the conference. I, I thought they were back by now. Um, and she just called me from the conference after having read my email to talk to me about Bill. And what's even better is she said, you know, we're at this conference and this, this whole time I've been thinking about Bill and Quid and I've been asking every rep, you know, and, and every internist that I run into here about them. And she's actually uh, come across a guy who um, does fecal transplants on cats and was telling me about how um, she thinks that's a good thing to try for him. And it sounds like, a, you know, like a fan. They do this in people. And I, I, this is the first time I've heard of it being done in cats at all. But it makes a lot of sense. And she even just took a second to talk to me about how um, the sort of science of it works and why it makes a lot of sense to do for Bill uh, and kittens in particular when they get to be this age is when their they're, uh, intestinal tract is kind of developing. And I want to follow up with her because she said something that I thought was really interesting about them eating solid food before eight weeks and how they can have some issues with that. And I, I need to remember to ask her about that later. Um, but I, I wanted to get her off the phone because I've got you guys and because uh, I didn't want to take up her time at the conference. So long story short, I will be talking to her some more tomorrow when I bring Bill in for a fecal transplant, apparently, at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Which sounds, I mean, when they say fecal transplant, it sounds like you're doing surgery. It's really just probiotics that are given rectally. Uh, more or less, that's that's basically it. Uh, it's, it's like an enema with a little extra. So it's not a big deal, uh, but I think it will be helpful. And uh, I'm super excited. So that's tomorrow afternoon for Bill. We just scheduled it. In fact, I should put it in my calendar right now before I forget. Um, let's put it in my calendar for tomorrow, 1 o'clock. Bill, all right, perfect. So that's super exciting now. Uh, I saw someone ask what that toy was that I put out while I was on the phone. And that is, uh, it's called the P16, letter P like Paul, number 16. Uh, that's really what it's called, although when I searched it on Amazon now, I think that some of the manufacturers are calling it something that's more descriptive. Um, you can't trademark uh, something like P16 in the United States, which is why we don't have uh, 386s anymore. We have Pentiums. Ooh, that's an old one. There's got to be a more modern reference for that. Uh, it's why I'm mystified that NVIDIA still numbers their cards. So, uh, where was I going with that? I don't know, but the reason I'm wearing this silly hat is to remind me that I've been asked to mention on Discord, the Discorders I've been uh, asked to mention, we're starting our uh, Christmas um, uh, gift exchange, I guess it is. It's, a, it's like a Secret Santa thing is what I mean to say. Yes, yeah, Secret Santa, that's the right way to put it. And uh, Discorders do one in the middle of the year, like a Christmas in July kind of a thing, and then they do one, of course, at Christmas, and that's this one, which the sign up I think is just opened for. So if you're on our Discord and you want to be part of that, uh, I'm sure you can find out more. There's a channel for it there. Um, so, all right, now I don't have to wear the hat. It's very warm. It gets very, very warm. Uh, it's cute though, isn't it? It's a Christmas. Uh, I'm sure I'll bring this out for DJ's tree decorating party. Okay, I'm just going to toss it over there for now. Uh, all right, we talked about Bill. Uh, we talked about Bill and resolved Bill all at once, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's the only news, so yeah, I think it's time for us to mailbag. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to mention since I'm looking uh, right at it. Um, uh, and it is, it's technically the first item in mailbag, I guess. I wanted to mention that the, the folks from Waruva, I said this yesterday after mailbag, but I think I said it after I stopped our recording, so it wouldn't be in there. 
Um, and I'm going to mention it again, uh, and I'm going to mention it again because I want to. Um, that's that's the thing is the folks from Weruva. There's one of them in particular. I think he's the he might be the vice. Pre I don't want I, whatever. Uh, one of the uh, probably C level guys at Weruva. And there's not many. It's it's a family business. It's a small family business. They're really nice folks, and I sound like I'm doing an ad for them. And so I'm going to shut up real quick. Uh, but I want you to know that I'm not doing an ad for them. They sent us a ton of food. Uh, just tons. It's all stacked up in the entry, and they have done this now twice, the second time, and they just sort of call us up out of the blue, and they're like, look, we want to send you some food. Can we, can we send you some stuff? What do you need? And we always say, well, uh, you know, we like your stuff. We don't, we don't really need much of anything. It's up to you, and anything that we don't use, uh, we can give to Dawes, the shelter that we work with, and then they just send us stuff uh, twice now, and it's so nice of them, and they never have asked for anything. They've never asked me to say anything, do anything, uh, not... Not a, not even a suggestion, not a hint, not uh, a joke, you know, not a word. It's just a hundred percent like you guys take care of cats. We got this food. We want to give it to you, and that's I think really nice. Plus, they were perfectly willing to have some conversations and and you know friendly, just wonderful people. And I really like them a whole bunch, even though I didn't continue to talk to them much because that's just I'm not good at social, and uh, it was more social than business. You know, like I said, they never asked me to do anything. Uh, so, you know, but I do feel like, uh, honestly, if I just sent them an email right now and needed anything at all, they would do it for us because they're just nice folks. So, uh, I wanted to mention that and, uh, it, it would work better with some props, but I'm not ready to get into all those boxes yet. So when I am, we'll probably talk about it again, just a warning, but I just, I, I just got a lot of, uh, warm feelings, uh, for them and I'm sure that's why they do it, uh, and it works. Um, but, uh, but it does, it does work and it's deserved. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's do some mailbag. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of this. My throat feels pretty dry. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, this this was sent to us a long time ago. So long, there's no chance I would even remember uh, when or who. Um, but if you notice the bottom of it, uh, yep, the little kitty's got. Uh, it's anatomically correct, I suppose. It's cute. Okay. I also, I put the scale right here because I was hoping that during mailbag, uh, I would be able to weigh any kittens that got within reach, but that might be a little too much distraction, and it seems like I've already got enough going on in my headspace, so we'll just see what happens. All right. We're going to start right in on packages because we did letters yesterday. Oh, I should just double check, make sure you guys can hear me, can see me. This should probably move, I can guess. Okay. And uh, maybe I should put on that entryway camera so you can see the Werova and these guys. I don't even know how they pronounce it. I should have asked them that question. That would have been a real good question, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see here. I don't know which of these cameras were best off moving, but uh, we're going to go with that one, I think. And bingo. Okay. If the admins or anybody wants to change that other. Uh, okay. You know what? I didn't look at the chat to make sure that we're talking. <laughs> Well, nobody's saying they can't hear me, so I think we're good. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, this was addressed to Kitten Academy, so no. Let's see if there's a note. There's something. Enjoy your gift balls for endowment boxes from Jackie. Perfect. Jackie. Hey, thank you so much. Look at that. This is so cute. Uh, it uh, just says cat toys, and it is uh, little tiny Charlie balls. I should actually give these guys some because I just had to take away their big Charlie balls. Um, these things apparently are just made of little strands of fiber that are put together some magical way, and with the big ones, the kittens pull them out. Uh, in fact, they were taking the, the big orange ones and chunking them into strands of fiber that looked just a little bit too long to be safe. Uh, these are short enough that I don't I don't worry ever about the kittens uh, playing with those or you know even if they do tear them apart. So I'm gonna just replace the ones I took away with some of these. You know what we're gonna put out? That's not exactly. That's more Christmas than Halloween, isn't it? Let's just put out the green. That'll pass as Halloween. Okay, there we go. 
maybe. I don't know why green passes Halloween. If I had some orange, that would be the thing, but... Okay, the rest of these we will put to endowments like Jackie wants. Jackie, thank you so much. Um, all right, we'll get an endowment box going here in due time. Did I really just put that knife away? No, I didn't. I put it right there. Okay, here we go. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Petto box. Petto box is uh, the P-E-T-T-O. I guess that's a, wow, you got to be careful how you say that. And I was going to point out something else about, uh, it's the return address. That's not who sent this to us, just the who shipped it, I guess, drop shipment. P-E-T-T-O, Petto box. And uh, the thing I thought was interesting is they don't say Petto box LLC. They spell out Petto box limited liability corporation in their return address. They, I guess, really want you to know that they are not taking responsibility. Uh, Petto box. Okay, let's see, though. Uh, is there going to be a note that tells us who actually sent it? Oh, I covered up this, so it's got to be a Mishi. It is. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Till? we got to be nice, okay? I know you guys are working it out, but we got to be nice. Okay, Mishi, Mishi 60. What, wow, what do we have here? Ooh, what? Oh, okay, all right, okay, it's catnip, but what packaging, how cool. I'm sorry, I made fun of them. Uh, that's apparently what the company does. It's P-E-T-T-O-B-O-X.com, Petto Box, and this is from Mishi60. It's called Cat Buzz Plus. Uh, organically grown catnip, and I guess the cats will tell us whether it's good catnip or not, but the packaging is superb. Uh, not only that, but the top has these two little hand-holding astronaut kitties on it. Oh, I pointed at the camera. There we go, right there. How cute is that? Wow, I, I want to see what this package is like inside, too. It's got a tiny little um, piece of tape making it stay shut. So let's just cut that. That's really cool. Oh, all right. It comes in a bag. And the bag just appears to... Wow, well, I can smell catnip. What do you think? Can you smell anything here? No response? Now, Maggie and most of the faculty have decided that they want to have time in the... Uh, in the. Oh, now you smell it. It took a minute to get to you, huh? Uh, they're in the, the uh, li uh, living room, I guess. They're, they're in the shut-off section over there for now. That's where they want to be. Uh, Maggie's actually taken to, to going there most days. She waits at the door for me to let her in. Uh, which is convenient because she's the one that tends to have the most issues with everybody. So it's nice for her to want to go in kind of an enclosed private zone. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I bet, though, that they will also go crazy for it. Maggie, in particular, is the one that's like the most, I think, catnip focused. But all the faculty gets into it. Kittens don't usually go for it so much. So, uh, uh, Mishi, uh, thank you so much. This is, uh, I love the, the the package at the very least. And we'll see how the catnip does. Um all right. Well, this one just says Kitten Academy on it. Where's the seam on this? All right. Well, we're just going to cut right through all that. Oh, springs. Springs here, everybody. I heard somebody upstairs making noises, but it didn't turn into a fight, so I guess we're okay. Uh, that's it. It's Springs, and there is nothing. It's just it's addressed to Kitten Academy. There's no notes. Let me double check. No, that's, that's it, but I'll tell you, uh, Springs always good and always good for endowments, so I'm just going to put them right here on the endowment sofa. There we go. Put this out of the way, and we will keep rolling. Thank you to whomever sent those. This is a raindrop thing. Do you see what raindrop is doing here? This is going to be her thing, and she's going to do this for whoever adopts her because she does this everywhere around the house. She loves to shred cardboard uh, and, I guess, paper, too. And we've had cats before that have this as their thing. Um, you know, some of them just love to shred paper or cardboard or boxes or whatever. Maybe it's because she's teething. Maybe she's just going through a phase but she uh, does this to all, you'll see them, uh, the kittens love to play with the little pieces of cardboard that she has ripped off of the boxes that are around. 
Uh, and you, you'll start seeing them everywhere. And, um, that's another thing I had to, to clean up around the Weruva boxes. They've been, she's been tearing them up. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's cute. It makes kind of a mess, but it's fun to watch her doing it. And, uh, you know, it's not hard to clean all that up. It's just paper and it doesn't hurt if she eats it. So super cute. All right. Well, I covered up a return address here, so there's something going on, but I don't see anything else on the outside that's super distinguishing. Um, a repurposed medical supplies box. Best kind of recycling is when you can just take something you've got and reuse it. Oh, I think I know who this is from just based on the way it's packaged. No, that can't be those. Is this, this shipped internationally? It wasn't. Okay. I don't. We've got multiple people, I guess, using the same style. We have okay to read on air, though. Somebody who knows what's up. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is cute. It's got kind of an abstract uh, rainbowy pattern. It says, you happy up the world. The world and I thank you. How adorable. All right. So this is not um, anybody that I think I've heard from before, but let's see. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, you do so much good. We watch the loving care you give to the babies and mamas, and it touches our hearts. Here is some Heine, yes, Heine Bros Coffee. Heine Bros Coffee, all right. Which is how many of us in Louisville do coffee. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. Uh, that, looks, that looks nice. It says, milk, it says Guatemala San Marcos. It says milk chocolate, almond, and vanilla notes with a cherry acidity. Hmm. Uh, Heine Bros Coffee, which is how many of us in Louisville do coffee. We hope you find it's delicious as you drink it. Will you drink a toast to one of your biggest fans, Richard, who is Raymond on Discord, who has a big milestone birthday this week? Aw. Uh, Richard and I are old enough that we think memorizing the names and faces of all the cats there keeps our brains young. We sure love y'all and send hugs from Louisville. Anne and Richard. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Anne and Richard, happy birthday, Richard. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for sending me some Heine Brothers uh, Louisville coffee. I cannot wait to try it out. Thank you very much. Um, let's see, I don't have a place for stuff for us yet, so I'm going to put it in your box and then we'll get that all figured out here. Happy birthday, Richard. Uh, I hope it's a good one. All right, uh, that's super cute and I love you. Happy up the world. That's adorable. All right, uh, let's keep rolling here. What do we got? We have Kitten Academy. All right, hopefully a note. <laughs> Interesting. It says it is a fluffy luxe pet bed for your four-legged bestie. Hmm. All right. It's a box in a box, of course. Open carefully. It is a single box with a sticker on the top that says, this is a set, do not separate. I don't know what to make of that, but it says here, dear Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, dear Mr. Bill, we hope you enjoy this comfy bed. We also hope you enjoy playing with our favorite ball tower and springs. I think that explains the springs. These must be for Mr. Bill. Um, love, Tahini and Flair. Of course, Tahini and Flair. Thank you, Tahini and Flair, for sending a bed and springs. Uh, is this a just like a marshmallow bed that they've packaged in a new way, or is it a different thing? It says to open carefully. I want to peek at it. If it's a marshmallow bed, uh, that's great, and he will love it. Um, but if it's not, I'd kind of like to see what it is. If it's a marshmallow bed, I'd kind of like to leave it so it doesn't, you know, expand. Let's find out. Oh, there's a whole description on the side. that they put a knife guard on it. Wow. Do they know me? The guys at Fluffy Lux, the Fluffy Lux, what is the name of Fuzzball? Fuzzball is the name of the brand, I guess. No? Oh, wow. It's not vacuum packed in here. It is, uh, it's wrapped up with two zip ties. What a strange way to package it. It's folded and then zip tied. Um, and it's not, it, it is, I guess it's technically a marshmallow bed. Um, so you can see that, but it's got this really cool two-tone, look at that, it's got like an undercoat. That's a great uh, uh, marshmallow bed material. 
Very cool. All right. So um, that's perfect for Bill. I'm going to put that in there. We'll make sure we label this box for Bill. Um, I was thinking if it was a, if it was a, like a bed that we could put um, for him to sleep in right now, we would do. But he's very poopy, and he would he would end up. It would need a lot of washing. I don't think it would even make it to his home. So, uh, so we'll wait on that. All right. Uh, thank you so much, though, to Heaney and Flair for sending the usuals and all for Bill. That's so sweet of you. Uh, little guy, like I said, oh, this is the tower. Perfect. It all comes together. Look at that. Oh, hmm, different brand. And it shows six balls. Wow. It does have six balls. That's their trick. Look at that. It's the very same tower, I'm sure, but it's got six balls instead of three. But you're going to want to take three out because I've done this before. And if you have two balls in there, it's not going to spin all the way around like they like. If they just hit each other and stop. Because uh, they're ping pong balls, they're light. Like if they had, if they have real mass to them, the balls that come in those little blue tracks that we use that are flexible, they're heavy. Like they, they, they're solid and heavy, and that's why they move so well. And if they put those solid balls in one of these, then you could put in like two or three and really bounce them around. It'd be fun. Uh, but with the ping pong balls, y you can't do that. That's not going to work. Cool, though. You got some extra ping pong balls. Now, that's fun. You just take those out and throw them around. The kittens will love them. That's one of the best toys, actually. And we always have tons of them around here. I've got, I've got a literal box um, like this size. No, probably bigger than that even, just filled with them in the basement. I just grab them, bring them up here, and throw them around, and they vanish. I don't know. I don't know where they go. Okie dokie. Next up, uh, let's see here. Did I say thanks to Heaney and Flair for all that? I, I know I did at least once, you know, during, but anyway, thank you. All right. Hmm. What? What? The box is turned the wrong way. I can't make out what it is. The note says, enjoy your gift. Was there a thing? Just says Kitten Academy. All right. Well, whoever sent it probably just forgot to leave a note then. It looks like... Oh, they're the fish. Are they the fish? No, they're different fish. Oh, 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 this comes, uh, I think there was, wait a minute, what? I think this might have been something that like Lisa or somebody, Lisa for Kittens sent last week in a note about. I can't, I can't remember. So somebody's going to have to remind me, but I vaguely recall somebody saying that they had sent fish that we didn't see yet. This does look like it's a flopping fish like we're used to. And the only reason I'm going to open it up and look at it is because, well, two reasons. Uh, one is that it's different packaging than we've seen, but it is the old familiar fish. Uh, the second reason is that in the instructions, it says they make a version with a remote control, which is uh, also an interesting idea that we have not seen. I wonder how that would work and if it would be at all... I don't think it would be valuable to have one with a remote control, actually, but I was curious. This is not apparently that version. So there you have it. Well, there's three of these. Uh, one, two, three. So I'm trying to figure out how that works. Maybe it's for the three older sisters when they are adopted. Maybe it's for someone else. If you sent the fish, whoever you are, let me know. Uh, you know how to get in touch with me. All right. That reminds me, and this is a weird place to say this. I'll have to try to remember to say it during some of the, the close-ups that we'll do. Um, I, I just I just remembered that there's a blog post to sign up. Oh, oh, no, there's more fish. Oh, maybe there's a note in this one. Okay, hang on. Now I'm getting all distracted. This one says, for the petty cash from R, the mysterious R. Well, at least we know who it's for and, um, and who it's from. So thank you so much. There are now five fish, which does, I think, uh, yeah, that adds up. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know if that last one would be more for mom um, or uh, for Billy. I, I would guess Billy, though. That's the way I would go with that. So, all right. Uh, and who knows? Maybe there's more. Um, I don't think so. I think I think we're good. Boy, speaking of uh, playful, uh, though, mom cats, uh, Till really has been something lately, hasn't she? Uh, you probably have seen her running around like uh, just a total kitten. 
Not right this minute, of course. I don't even know where she is, actually. I should have been more concerned about that. I guess she's gone upstairs. Ooh. Oh, hey, look at that. Wait, this is a different... Hmm. All right, yet another electronic toy. It's from the Migi Paw... Blah, blah, blah. Easy for me to say. Migi Paws? Me... Is that how you would say that? I don't know. Brand that we've seen the... Uh, we've got the little... One of the balls that rolls around on its own is from them, and some of the other things, too. They're, they're a popular uh, pet brand that does a lot of these, like, um, electronic-type toys. So this is a different version of the butterfly toy. As you can see, it's got a round base, so the whole thing is going to move around a lot. It kind of spins like a like weeble wobbles, you know. It's going to spin around, and, and they're going to bat the whole thing. And, and when they drag this one around, it doesn't tip over. It stands back up. That's all cool ideas. Um, we have one that's similar to this that has never really worked very well, though. Uh, this is a slightly different design, so I would be curious to know how it's going to work. And oddly, it came with a bag of what appear to be different attachments, and I've never seen... I've never seen different attachments for the butterfly that aren't butterflies, but here's one that's got little ribbons, and here's one with a feather. That's super cool, too. So it's got a butterfly, ribbons, and a feather, and you can pick one and put it on there. Now, the question is, can I get this all back in the box, and is there a note? That is the single question, the single solitary question that I would like to ask. Hang on, buddy. I can see you like it. It's not even turned on, and you like it. Uh, whoa, how is this package? This is bizarre. How did I even open this thing? That's so weird. Uh... Oh, what's happening? Man, stymied by cardboard. Okay, hang on. They're just going to... You know what? Uh, here, here's a big box. Go in there. Okay, this is a whole box is full of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, ten. Ten of these, and... And is there a note, though? Is there a note? There's no note. There's no note. Nope, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. There's no note. Uh, it says, Blue Butterfly Ostrich Feather Shiny Ribbon. Just in case you were wondering, now we know what those attachments are. Okay, well, uh, ten of those is um, more than I think we need for the current uh, graduates, even. So maybe the one that I open can be one that we just deploy. I, I don't know, because there's no note. But considering I already completely botched trying to put it away, I just want to see... No, it needs batteries. Okay. Ah, well. It was worth a shot. And it's got a screw uh, to, to take the battery compartment open, so I can't even uh, do it quickly. And unlike most of these, it does not include a screwdriver, which I actually think is good. Um, I, I've got like a drawer full of little tiny useless screwdrivers because everything includes one. It's ridiculous. Please stop doing that. Everybody, uh, you know, if somebody is buying something and they don't yet own a screwdriver, they can go get one. They're going to need it. You don't have to be the one that gives them one, though, because they're going to have unlimited screwdrivers if just everybody gives you a... You know what? Why am I still talking about screwdrivers? Okay, I packaged that back up simply because I don't have a battery. I'm going to put it here with the catnip. We're going to find out. And... Put that in there. We're gonna keep on, keep on. Oh, there's one more box. There's only one more box. Look at that. All right. Good for us. Look out. Hi, Till. Hi. Look at you on this box. You're so cute. Are you gonna try to grab that tree? She's being such a sweetheart. What happened to P16, by the way? It's been suspiciously quiet. So, here we have a box uh, from Joy F. I guess I should have covered that up a little better. I'll do it with my hand. But I think you might have guessed that because it's decorated like a Joy F box. I hope you can see. Here we go. Uh, we've got this beautiful... Um, uh, the, the word I was looking for yesterday when I was trying to describe this was decoupage. It's not really, but that's what it reminds me of. 
so there we go. And I think there's some on that side. I can't see it from here, obviously. And then there's some on this side. There we go. Beautiful. And this side has words. And, and, okay. Well, this is hands down the silliest way I've ever covered up an address. <laughs> Buddies, where's my knife? Where's my knife? Giving up now. We're going for the real knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. All right, cut carefully though. Oh, why? Why? Why do you ignore the safety knife? Like it doesn't even exist. I pull out the real knife and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I want to see that. That looks dangerous. Great. Hey, custard. Custard. Who is it? Hey, Till, stop being a witchy. Is that you in there? Who is this? Who's in there growling? Hi, who's in there growling? Yeah, that's got to be Till. All I can see is the paws, but they're white. Custard, don't start it with Till. Okay, you guys have been friends so far. You've been fine in the office all day long. Maintain. Oh, this whole time there was a knife guard. I could have gone at it a little bit more aggressively. There's also the note. I should have known. Joy, Joy F. knows what she's doing. So, um, let's put this away. And let's see what we got here. Okay. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope all is well. Time seems to have blown by. It's hard to believe Teaspoon is almost all grown up. He's grown to be a sweet, wonderful young man cub. <laughs> I like that. Uh, the tabby triplets are gorgeous and wellies and squall have blossomed. Their mom did a wonderful job. There are no words to express how wonderful you and DJ are. Uh, and we all love both of you. Gift bags for the petty cash. Um, Tills is a bit different from the babies and doubloons and farthing have a little something extra. There are a few extra toys to deploy and also a pineapple for the next mom cat. By you, Abby, Lila, Carabine, and Gray uh, noticed, Gracie noticed how much Till seems to like the little couch. Excuse me. They wanted to send her one, so I told them they could order one. It should arrive around the same time as this package. Hope she enjoys it as much as my cats enjoyed theirs, and hope all the students get a duders soon. Thank you again for all you do. Kitten hugs, Joy, and my cat bosses, Bayou, Abby, Lila, Carabine, and Gracie. Wonderful. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, all right, I'm excited to take a look in here. Oh, look at that. You've no, uh, labeled some of these. This is a great toy. <laughs> this is a great toy with some funny... All right, it's a self-writing cat toy. It's another one of those weebles wobble and they don't fall down. It's stuck on here with zip ties, though, so... I want to find some tiny scissors to cut those off. Um, the fun thing, though, is that it says, it's saying, it's got a little cartoon speech bubble. It's saying, I'm Tippy. Yeah, I bet you are. Uh, there we go. So that's cute. Uh, it says deploy. So um, I guess I'll put it in here with the coffee. That's going to be a good one, though, I can tell. All right, let's see here. We have more that's to deploy. Look at that. We have I Loaf You. Uh, it's, a, it's a cat loaf. It says I Loaf You. It's, it's orange with blue eyes. It's kind of a teaspoon loaf, a tea loaf, if you will. Uh, oh, wow. We got a really disgusting squid. I absolutely love it. The tentacles on this thing are awesome. Oh, this is so cool. It's a little tiny squid, and uh, the tentacles are so gross. It's just made with that, that same sort of material that those, they make those little balls out of. You know, that's got the little tiny pieces of, I don't know, whatever sticking up on it. It's very fuzzy and they're nice and soft and they feel great and they look uh, super gross like tentacles coming out of a real little squid. He's got those eyes and he's got little embroidered spots on his back uh, and the, the mouth. It's just, this is really cool. Hmm. How about that? 
I didn't even know I was such a fan of squid. I mean, I always thought like the giant squid at the museum was cool. They've got like a model of one at the Field Museum in Chicago. Uh, um, uh, and then there's the, it's, there's a giant squid in, I'm either thinking of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea or I'm thinking of uh, uh, the House on the Rock. Uh, what was that guy's name that did the House on the Rock? Where they've got that, he's got that one giant diorama that's the, the 20,000 leagues under the sea, but it's this giant squid fighting the submarine. Maybe it's both. It's probably both. Okay, what am I going on about? We have fun tubes, we have mice, we have weird giant Q tips. Now, these kids, uh, this one in particular, has shown a love for actual Q tips. I don't know if the giant Q tips will go over or not, but it does say deploy, so I'm going to throw it right out there. There's also a mouse. Uh, I really like this squid. I keep using the word disgusting, but it's actually adorably disgusting. I don't know. It's uh, like cute Thulu. Okay. Aw, doubloons and Bill have these little... Are they llamas? Are they ostriches? They have four legs. I guess that makes them llamas. Okay. There we go. Um... New future mom cat has her very own Yao catnip pineapple. Great, a good start. Like I said, uh, I'll want to bring in a mom cat as soon as we can. So uh, I am going to wait until um, we've found some adopters for some of these older kids, though. Oh, look at that. This pod looks very familiar. This uh, is, is this the one that keeps getting peed on upstairs, or is, it, uh, is that a different one? Anyway, it's a cute little pop-up pod for doubloons. Uh, let's see, I want to keep the endowments together so I can put them back in the box and the future mom cat can go over here. And then look at how... Oh, wait, wait. A couple more things that are loose. I see. Till gets another and uh, Farthing gets one of these and then there's another tunnel for Farthing. Okay, that all makes sense. Oh, and another. Oh, man, these llamas, they're hiding out in there uh, for Ledger. Cute. Oh, and another tunnel. Oh, my goodness, for Bill. It's tunnels and llamas all the way down. Okay, yes, another tunnel and another llama. I see. These were probably next to their people, quid and quid, uh, but because they weren't actually in the bags, I get easily used, you know. There's a couple more, too. I'm not going to pull them out. Then we have the bags. Look how beautiful these are. They're, first off, the bags are just lovely, and I love that they have this transparent part so you can see uh, what's in them. And then you've made these tags out of little pieces of wood uh, that are so well decorated. You've done little bits of uh, like um, uh, hemp string in a pattern that's glued on there in this wavy lines. And then on the front, it's got a bow that's tied with a little button to set off the middle. It's a, so adorable. And best of all, uh, little laser cut wood letters that say quid and are decorated with a whole different pattern on them. That is so, uh, the word I, I would use is ornate. Uh, it's just lovely, and they're all decorated just like that. Here's Bill's, so you guys can see. Beautiful. Uh, now, farthing and doubloon are uh, long words. Let's see how that works out. Ledger, t Bill, Till, Farthing, Quid. Oh. Oh, doubloons is right here in front of me. I pulled it out already. I'm like, what happened to doubloons? All right, doubloons and farthing. There we go. They do fit. You just, you you made them fit. That's good. Perfect. Nice work. Wow, uh, doubloons button is really cute. It almost looks like you, uh, you kind of tried to pick something that had a, a sort of a Celtic pattern on it, maybe. All right. So, uh, let's get an idea for what's in a bag. It looks like, um, just to pick one at random... We have, oh, we have an I'm Tippy in, uh, in each bag. That's cute. We've got a, a Yao Catnip Banana, the classic. We have a Fur Mouse, ooh, whoa, sought after. Uh, one of those uh, Silver Vine sticks that they love when they get a little bit older. Um, <laughs> ooh, ooh, a pretty princess collar for doubloons. It's shiny. It's got like a scaly, shiny pink. Oh, that'll look lovely on her. Okay. Oh, and a bow to go on the collar? Yep. Oh, a bow and a little heart charm. So cute. All right. Uh, and, you know, usual cat toys, too. We've got Charlie balls, some sort of a caterpillar thing. Oh, a laser. 
Very nice. All right, what a great set of stuff. I can see somebody's getting ahead of themselves. I think yours is downstairs, pal. I think yours has been downstairs for a while. When are you going to get to open it, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I think that's everything. All right. Hey, look at that. Well, that ended abruptly. Perfection. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, really, uh, for everything. Okay, let's put the deployment stuff right there. This is endowments for uh, these same kids, I think. So I'm just going to try to combine this to go downstairs. That's endowments for Bill. Oh, this has to go in there too, though. Uh-oh, can I fit all that? How did you do this? I see. Now I see why all these llamas were tucked in there, hiding. Uh -huh. It wasn't just to surprise me. You really can't trust those llamas, though, you know. It's, it's true. Not many people know that. The Trojan horse was actually a llama. They, just, they don't tell the story that way because it's weird. True, though. True story. Okay. <clears throat> oh. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. These kittens are going to have such great lives. Uh, I just, I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm excited for little Bill to see the doc tomorrow. Um, I was excited to start cleaning the house today. Uh, DJ's last night shift was last night. So uh, she said she was going to stay up today to try to reset her schedule. She's sleeping right now, so that lasted uh, not very long. Um, but today, uh, this, like I said, this morning was her very last night shift of the of this. You know, I'm sure she'll have another one at some point, but she's on another rotation for the next two weeks. So she's back to a regular schedule, and I was going to spend today then cleaning the house. Um, I think instead, though, I'm going to be on Bill and Quid watch, at least until Quid has a good poop and can come out and play with everybody. Um, and then uh, I'll just be making sure that Bill stays uh, fed and happy, and we'll probably take Till in there to hang out with me, too, because she gets super stressed when she's not with her person 100% of the time. When she is, she's the sweetest thing in the world. Um, but if she doesn't get to sit next to me all day long... Uh, yeah. Well, you hear her yell in her room. I mean, she just, she, she doesn't keep it a secret how she feels about things, does she? All right. Uh, no reason she can't hang out with Bill. Uh, she might even groom him if we're lucky. She did for Quid. She kept him so clean when he was having the bad poops. And I think she's just got that real strong mom instinct. Uh, she's done a great job of training them. Um, and, you know, raising them and cleaning them and all the things that moms do. She's just, she's taking them from one stage to the next. She's just been perfect, really. So, okay. How are we going to get all this stuff downstairs? I'm actually going to put these here and then I can close the boxes and that makes them easier to carry. There we go. This one I want to label for Bill. I can see Raindrops had her time with this box. I mean, she just, I'm not kidding. This is a thing. Box labeling pen, where are you? play, don't you? You want to get this? Here, get it. Oh, I threw it the wrong way. It didn't land in the box. It did not fly like I expected. Good job, Till. Oh, yeah, she's kidding. Look at that. She was right on it, too. Okay, this is Bill. That's going to be upside down. I don't care. Actually, I guess you could easily write Bill so that it reads the same upside down and not, but not backwards. It doesn't work. Oh my goodness! Such a smart guy. Look how smart I am. I know. I know how uh, uh, symmetry it works. Mirrors. I know how mirrors work. Yeah, I'm smart. I'm a smart guy. And words too. You can tell I'm good at words. I'm good at everything. Especially good at words, though. Okay. 
Let's see here. Uh, I guess I should also be good at taking this mic off so you guys don't have to listen to me trying to shuffle all this cardboard around. I'm going to take this out to the recycling pile. He said to the mic that's still on because his hands are full. Ah. All right, I'll come back to this. All right, let's uh, let's switch back to the regular mic before he forgets that too. Sounds.
Well, hi, did you, did you see me home, man? You want the box? Okay, well, hey, you keep it, all right? I'll just take the rest of the stuff away. It's a uh, um, alto clarinet lady that uh, packages like um, Richard and uh, oh my goodness, Richard and I only remember Richard because it's his birthday. Anyway, uh, it was also when I opened it, I said, "Oh, recognize this, this style." Pa you know, it's just the reason it stands out is because it seems like something I would do. It's like uh, packaged with paper towels or something. And uh, that's, I not only would do, I'm sure I have done. In fact, when I sent my nephew a computer a few years ago, a few, a few years, wow. Um, I basically just, I mean, I started out with some, uh, the, the heavy, crinkly, you know, paper to kind of pat it out. But at some point I just started dumping in like trash. Like not trash, trash, but like I had a big old box that was like just plastic, and some of it was like I the the paper, the air filled bladders, you know, and stuff. But some of it was just just those things already emptied out, you know, just just basically plastic garbage and trash bags, you know, that like just like a thing where you collect all your plastic because you're gonna uh, take it to recycle or whatever. I'm just dumping that in to fill out the box. It's, uh, it was kind of awful. So uh, the paper towel is not nearly so offensive, but uh, definitely uh, something I would do. And, uh, distinctive mark, I think, of myself and also clarinet lady and now uh, Richard and family. That's what I'm going to go with. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff put away. Oh, hey, look at Ann. I thought it was Ann. I was going to say Ann, and that happens to be the card I was holding. So. Now we got it. All right, Ann and Richard. You two are too silly. Let's end the recording again by doing a close up so I can just show your little silly faces in stereo. I don't know who you two are. That's ridiculous. The balloons are such a little mama's girl. That is the balloons, right? Not ledge? Yeah, that's good. You picked the best cat bed in the entire house. You certainly have. Jill is such a kitten now. Well, thanks again, everybody, uh, for everything. You just I need more caffeine and I don't have words. So uh, it's wonderful. And I'm so excited for these little kittens. Um, the endowments for uh, the older kittens uh, have grown out of control. 
I'm gonna have to re-sort them in the basement now because there's been so much added. And uh, it's gonna be a lot now, wow. I mean, it's always a lot. Everybody's so generous and they take such good care of all the kittens. All right, when I end this, that's gonna end my archive. So uh, thanks again, everybody. And we'll see you uh, next time, I suppose.